In this tutorial we're going to show you how to terminate QED Genesis cable using the airlock plugs. The Genesis Silver Spiral cable is the ultimate in cable technology from QED and is the realisation of all the research we did to produce the Genesis report on speaker cables which you can download from the following address. Necessarily the cable geometry is quite complex so it takes some skill to terminate the cable properly. First take a sharp knife and score along the isolated outer jacket for a length of between 80 and 100 mm. Do this both sides but only cut right through the outer jacket at the very end. In this way you will not cut through into the insulation beneath but will still be able to remove the outer jacket cleanly. As you move down through the layers of the cable it's interesting to see the technology behind the ultimate expression of loudspeaker cable design. The construction consists of an isolated outer jacket housing two internal conductors made up of nine individually insulated silver plated 5 nines oxygen free copper conductors. The conductor bundles are twisted together within the outer jacket to form the characteristic silver spiral geometry. Within the bundles each of the nine conductors is individually insulated and arranged around a central hollow core in order to help reduce the high frequency skin effect common to all electrical conductors. Once you've got started, the jacket will peel away easily in two pieces, which you can cut away with your cutters right at the base. Underneath the outer jacket you'll see the five elements of the silver spiral geometry. There is an outer mylar wrap which binds the whole together and which must first be removed. Beneath this are the two bundles of conductors within their polyethylene insulators and two spacer rods which keep the conductors spaced at the optimum distance. Both the dielectric and the spacers help to maintain a uniform capacitance between the two parallel conductors. Remove the clear mylar wrap and snip it away cleanly at the base and untwist the spiral construction and separate the two conductor bundles and the spacer rods. The polyethylene spacer rods must also be snipped away right down to the base. Use a pair of adjustable wire strippers to strip back 15mm of the outer polyethylene jacket of the inner conductor bundles. Make sure the strippers are adjusted so that they just cinch through the jacket without taking any of the inner conductors with them. The outer jacket is a bit tougher than PVC so you have to nibble around the entire circumference of the cable first. Remove the copper tape wrap from the bundle of nine individually insulated silver plated conductors. Next, expose the inner colour coded X tube spacer and snip it away right down to the base using a pair of cutters. Make a note of the colour of the X tube spacer so that you fit the correctly coloured airlock barrel in the next step. Take some time here to readjust the cable strippers for use in the next step. You will notice that you have nine white coloured conductors left. These are coated with a low density polyethylene dielectric to keep them electrically isolated. You have to strip all nine of the LDPE coated conductors as close to the base as possible. This is so that the airlock plug will fit right down to the outer insulation in the next step. The LDP insulation forms part of a low permittivity dielectric in the cable and is what contributes to its very low dissipation factor. You will find the LDPE is quite soft and strips very easily. It's important however to make sure your strippers are accurately adjusted so as not to remove any of the conductors at the same time. Proceed in a circular fashion stripping each of the nine conductors one at a time as close to the base as possible. Fit the appropriately coloured airlock barrel over the jacket of the inner conductor bundle. You will know which one to fit by the colour of the X tube spacer which you removed earlier. Use white for the negative plug and red for the positive one. Twist the 5mm squared silver plated 5 nines oxygen free copper conductors together so that the airlock plug will fit snugly over them with the trumpet part sitting firmly against the polyethylene outer jacket without the need for a reducing shim. With the plug correctly seated like this the finished connection will be rigidly supported by the cable jacket. Insert the entire construction into the airlock tool and make sure you push the cable right into the plug so it's seated firmly against the outer insulation. Push down until the ratchet releases and you'll form a solid cold weld joint between plug and cable. Give the plug a tug to make sure it's secure, screw up the barrel and you're done. Proceed with the other conductor in exactly the same manner. You can then make a professional finish by using the special QED shrink tubing. This is available as a separate item and can be activated with an ordinary hairdryer. <laughs> 